Hi, welcome to Club Hunky Dory's Craft Room. My name's Anne-Marie. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful kinetic card from the Decadent Days collection. I love this card. It's an absolute personal favourite of mine because I love how much movement there is in there, how much dimension, and that it's always going to fold flat for posting. Okay, so to make this card, we have the actual card blank itself. And if I just push those to one side, you can see it's all die cut and it's already pre-scored. We've already got these score lines in here, okay? So we have the topper sheet. Now on here, you'll find all of the die cut segments that are gonna sit perfectly onto the card blank. Now what I've already done on the back with some super sticky tape, just so that you can see, it isn't really necessary to use the super sticky because you can use foam pads if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But I've just already put two strips of the tape on the back of each of the toppers that are gonna to sit on the card. So the two that I haven't put tape on are the um, topper with the lady on and the topper with the sentiment on because I do want to use foam pads for those two. So all I'm gonna do now is push out all of the pieces and they literally just sit onto the card. It's really simple to work out where they go, but I will just lay them all out for you so you can see where they go. It's a good idea to do that beforehand so you don't end up sticking one down in the wrong place. Although you, you will tell when they go on there if they're not quite in the right place. So just push them all out and they've all got that lovely deco scallop design either foiled or printed onto them as well. They look gorgeous. Okay, so just making sure the deco scallops the right way up. We have the two end panels, which just sit at the sides there. You can see how they're gonna go because they've got a little border that just goes all the way around. Then we've got the two that are gonna sit either side. Then we have top and bottom. And then the four, which are just printed, are gonna sit in the four remaining spaces. Okay, so you can see exactly where everything needs to go. So all I'm going to do now is just make sure they're stuck down. So always lay it out first, then you've got a right idea of how things are going to go. And then just stick them down. Okay, this is probably the most time consuming bit of making this card, but it's really simple and it is a really effective card when it's actually put together because it just looks so difficult because it's got all that movement and all those those folds and everything so just stick all these in place there we go you could use a tape runner if you wanted to um or you know a, a wet glue whichever that you find easiest is going to be fine there we go and top and bottom next so just attach those making sure all your scallops are the right way up as well there is a wrong and a right way. Okay, so then we've just got the four corners to put in place. I mean, you could leave those out if you wanted to as well. You know, some of these toppers would look nice just with your, your regular cards. So if you want to save some of them, you can also do that. There we go. Oops. And then we've just got two more left to do. And then we're just going to fold the card up. So... That's probably probably the most difficult bit, is folding the card up, but it's still pretty easy to do. Once you've got one made, you'll be an absolute pro before you know it. There we go. Okay, so the only other thing we're going to stick on now is the sentiment. Now, I like this sheet because what we have is the actual panel that's going to sit in the middle, and that comes. Um, this one comes with especially for you. But then you've also got on your special day, so maybe you want to pop that on there instead. That's going to fit exactly over the centre. So I like the way that this has been designed for you to be able to do that. So just with some foam pads, just pop those on the back. And just take the backing off those. And I'm just going to pop that in the centre. And I think I'll leave it like that. I like especially for you. So I'm going to save that sentiment for another card. Okay, now we're gonna fold it up. So, popping it out like that in front of you, the two sides are gonna become a mountain fold. Okay, so always remember mountains come up, the middle is gonna become a valley, so the valley comes down. And then at the other end, we're gonna do exactly the opposite. So the two sides are gonna go into a valley, and the middle is gonna come up into a mountain. 
and it's already taken shape. So we can literally just press it down and you've got that fabulous kinetic shape. Okay, so to put our topper on now, we're gonna fold it all up and whoops, our topper with some foam pads is gonna sit on the front there. Now I'm gonna, we need to make sure that we just have foam pads on one side because we don't wanna put any foam pads there or else the whole thing will stick together. So just a couple, making sure that it goes onto this side. There we go. And then just place that in the middle of the front of the card. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Fabulous card, really beautiful. I love this kinetic design. I think it's you know really exciting, really different, and it all folds flat to go in an envelope. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Make sure you stay tuned for more exclusive videos to Club Hunky Dory.